Well, if you were keeping up with our coverage all day yesterday, then you saw Airline Road, the new Airline Road from McArdle to SBID, flooded badly less than a year after its $3 million facelift. Yeah, hey, take a look here. One car stalled out, got stranded Sunday after floodwaters turned a portion of Airline Road into a pond. But storm water improvements were part of the road's upgrades. So what exactly went wrong here? Alexis Green joins us now. She spoke to city leaders today. Alexis, what did you find? Leslie Rudy, you're right. Stormwater improvements were a part of the airline road improvement project. The city tells me through that yesterday's flooding, neither the new construction or design were to blame. The airline project, we did do stormwater infrastructure upgrades. Uh, so what the issues uh, that occurred over the weekend were, were based on maintenance. That was Gabriel Inahosa, interim director of Public Works. He says debris in the water line caused a blockage and that caused flooding. City crews came out to clear the debris. Uh, they lifted a manhole, kind of created more uh, weight from the water and it was able to flush out the line uh, at that point. And uh, I think it drained properly after that. The city isn't sure what kind of debris was to blame, but Paul Bass, assistant director of Solid Waste Services, says there are general tips that all residents and business can do to help. Bag your trash so there's less chance of it blowing into our roads and bag or rake your yard after mowing. That's so important, you know, is to, after you cut the grass, blow that yard waste back on your lawn. It won't hurt your lawn at all. It won't even be noticeable in your grass and it'll help keep that material from going down the storm drain and clogging the drains. Hinojosa says that they plan to monitor Airline Road as well as all of the other inlets across the city, but they are working to grow their crews on the ground. Uh, we have over 19,000 inlets within the city, and we have two crews right now that cover the whole city. So that's one of our major improvements we want to get to, to get to these inlets to pre uh, prevent this from happening in the future. The city, they plan to add an additional two crews by the next fiscal year. That way they can do maintenance at least once a year on all the roads inlets to prevent similar drainage issues. Rudy, Leslie.